Hey everyone, Leo here with uh, Digital Track. Today I just want to go over an ad that I saw from Solano Mortgage. Um, this is not something that, um, uh, it's just something that I came across when I was scrolling through my newsfeed. But if you are a mortgage lender here locally and you're looking for uh, ways to advertise, um, then let me go over this ad and see what what are they doing right what are some things you can take what are some things you can take away uh so let's get started before i do that my name is leo with uh I have a company called digital track here in fairfield california in solano county and basically i help small businesses in solano county right be able to get found online does increase in their sales and and customers right and that'd be either through paid advertising or uh online uh, listing, making sure that your business is listed as many places as possible, um, websites, uh, social media, right, etc. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the ad that I saw, it was this one, right? If you go to there, I was scrolling through my Instagram profile and I saw this. And if you go through it, you'll you'll see it as well. They, they basically, it's a post that they boosted. That's what they call um, when you do something like this. And and so that's why you will see, right, there's uh, more video views on this one um, than the usual, right? This is a video, has 29. This is a video, has 34. This one has 269, right? But you'll notice the difference because obviously um, it, it's a boost, uh, boost and post, right? Meaning they are advertising. Now, this actually, when I was looking at it on mobile, on the on the on the on the advertised post, on the advertising, it had a arrow or on a button that says "Learn More," and that was taken to um, the the page over here. So let's get started with the ad first, right? Just a video talking about um, uh, talking about Solano Mortgage versus the big banks, right? That's basically what it was. How it's much more personalized. Uh, to work with the local mortgage lender <coughs> than going with, uh, you know, big banks that have all this budget and machines, but they lose that personal touch. And so that's that's a way of marketing that basically puts people, that's something you can you should take into consideration with your marketing, right? Creating your own community by basically um, throwing rocks at your competition, so to speak, right? It, it works really well. How many times you see advertising Pepsi versus Coca-Cola, um, Ford versus Chevy, for example, right? All these big companies, it, it's just basically um, uh, a good, healthy competition, right? By basically uh, creating their own community and throwing rocks at each other. Uh, why are we better than, than them, right? And so that's basically the the, uh, the ad over here. If you go, go watch the video, if you want to learn something, if you are, are a mortgage lender locally here, a broker, right? A real estate uh, owner, um, all, all those type of businesses, you want to learn a little bit about the ad over here go watch the video go watch what they're doing um i'm not saying it, it, it's the bad the it, the bad the ad is 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 good i'm just pointing some takeaways and basically the the marketing aspect and the self aspect of it uh what they did um uh, and like i say it's nothing right it just says mortgage bankers versus the internet part two just basically right explaining uh, us versus them uh it, it doesn't have any m much either right it, it had a button if you watch this on the promoted video, it had a button that says learn more and it just basically takes it to the to the website. One thing I would have done probably is make uh, an incentive for people to actually um, go and become a lead, right? Either be, I want to thank my, my, um, uh, my past customers by giving away this contest. Go ahead and, and, and I would have taken them to a specific page dedicated to that contest, right? That could help to... Uh, continue build a relationship, right? And all, but all they did, they, they did basically is take people through a website. Um, as it creates great awareness. Yes, I'm glad that they are using Fix, uh, Pixel Tracker and Google Analytics, so that that way they can gather information. Right? It's not worth it to con to invest into advertising and not having uh something to let you know how you know how many people uh, visited your website. And, and gather some other, some other data that will allow you to 
uh, uh, be able to get to know the people that visit your website, especially coming from advertising, right? The, having these two over here, these pieces of code, code cookies um, or, or pixel, right, uh, allows you to also advertise, continue to advertise to people all over the internet. Like if I land, if I landed over here, um, they could very well be doing something called remarketing. Meaning, if I go to another site, they could I could very well continue to see the advertising over and over, right? So it creates that uh, <clears throat> that picture in my mind that okay, next time I I know somebody that needs a mortgage or I need somebody or, or I need a, a, a mortgage loan, I know who to go with, right? Because it's the only company I see locally if I want to go local, right? Um, that's the company that I will know because they constantly. Uh, staying in front of me. Um, so many times we may not need anything from Walmart, but they understand the long-term relationship, right? So they constantly stay in front of you through advertising. Um, and that's the power of that. That's what uh, uh, great companies understand, the long-term relationship, as opposed to just the short, uh, the short benefit from there to, to advertise and just make a local sale. So that's one thing that I will do, right? To um, incentivize people um, and take into a um, landing page where it's not there's not a lot of information to to get a specific goal right if it, if it's just to create awareness uh, well well just um, don't do any learn more button just actually um, do something more like let, make sure they stay here and, and, and create an interact interaction uh, other thing I will do is that Solano mortgage has wow there's about 29,000 people looking for it, searching for it, um, <clears throat> and on a monthly basis, they have a, about average 90, so I will af actually bet um, the, for the own keyword, like if, like if I go into Google AdWords and type in Solano Mortgage, I will actually place an ad to make sure that no other competitors are are searching for this keyword. I, I could very well be a new mortgage company here locally. And I could very well spend simply two dollars and fifty four cents anytime somebody uh, clicks on my ad. I'd be I'd be very happy to do that if I take it away some customers from you. If I'm driving away some traffic for from Solano Mortgage, right? And and again, uh, Google will place my ad out there, and it's not gonna cost me anything. It's gonna create uh, <coughs> visibility. Uh, let's say I create something called, uh, you know. Choose us versus Solana Mortgage, or why you shouldn't go with Solana Mortgage, uh, etc. Right? I can make up anything and, and 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 have people redirect our traffic. That's ninety people that does searches uh, on a monthly basis, right? For Solana Mortgage, um, so I could use that data to essentially have, let's say, uh, ninety people see my ad, and let's say even uh, ten of them, right, or even five of them actually click on my ad and, and one of them uh, actually becomes a customer, um, that's a very good uh, uh, profit. And let's say all I want to spend is $50 a month or $100 a month, right? Each time somebody clicks on it, I only pay about $2.54. $2 so 100 people may see my ad, no, everybody may click on it. So I don't pay for all, everybody. All I pay is for the people that clicks on it. So if 100 people watch the ad, and only five people uh, uh, click on it, you do the math, right? But it would be about five times $2.54. Now, obviously, this number is suggested, right? Uh, so it could very well, well variate depending on the day, the day, the time, right? So many other things. But like I say, it's not very expensive to for a competitor to come in and just steal the traffic from Solana Mortgage, especially when they have about 90 searches on average um, go, people looking for specifically Solana Mortgage. And you can see over here, there's about 29,600 people searching for Solana Mortgage. Um, so that's the other thing I will do. If you have a business and you have the budget to, to advertise, if you are a, a, a local big gorilla in town, um, you know, why not continue to secure your uh, place in, in, in the search results when people are researching for your company by actually putting keywords on Google AdWords, uh, embedding on your own, the own name of your business, right? As opposed to running the risk that uh, other competitors will, will, tickle, 
will steal that traffic here, you know, and steal, so to speak. It's a legal way to do it, right? All, all people are basically just advertising and putting a great headline and, and redirecting that tra that people, the traffic to my own company. So that's all I wanted to cover. Uh, for those of you small business owners that are watching this, I have a special bonus for you. I currently have a contest going on to do July 31st. If you just put your name down <coughs> or follow the link uh, below, what I'm doing is I'm giving away, giving away uh, the special services of three um, um, things, right? Number one is I'm going to be working with you to ensure that your, that your business is listed in multiple places, uh, multiple popular sites to ensure that when somebody searches for your business name and, and post a city, that you actually come up in search results, that you actually come up in the map, right? Um, because if people cannot find you online, how are they going to know about your products and services? Just depending on the word of mouth, just depending on the foot traffic, uh, that's great, right? But what about people that are looking up uh, stuff online? Um, and again, it won't cost you anything because I'll be doing this for you at no cost, right? Um, it wouldn't even cost your time because, again, I'm doing this for you. Um, the other bonus that I'm going to throw in in there is basically set up a website for you. So if you still need a website or you just had an old one and you need to renew it or, or you need to actualize it, um, I can make a fresh, fresh new one for you. And another thing I'm going to throw in is basically do your social media. So if you don't have any social media right now, I will go ahead and do it. Or if you already have one, I'm going to work with you to make sure that it's complete, right? To make sure that it has as much information as possible that needs to be put in a social media so that when some people are searching for your company, uh, um, it, the, the, all that they will see on the first page of Google is basically your business. So, for example, if I look for Solano Mortgage, you can see the Solano Mortgage is all over because they obviously the website has been uh, in it for a while. They, it has good ranking. And they actually have the listed on the map, Google Maps and Google Business. So they they have that taken care of. You can see that are on Yelp. So uh, having your business in Yelp helps, especially because Yelp is such a popular site, right? Uh, they have their business listed on Silo, and as you can see, um, it helps. You can even have the free listing on Silo. It still helps because it's still putting information on, that gives back to Google that lets Google know that this uh, that this website is on Silo, and because Silo is such a great popular site, uh, it, you know all this is Solana Mortgage, right? All this is Solana Mortgage, and this guys. For those of you that own business, this is uh, not this is that's not gonna cost you anything to do, right? Uh, if you don't win and you still you still can go and do it yourself, all you gotta do is make sure to go you go to all these sites specifically and do your own listing, right? You can set up your own business profile on Facebook. You can set up your your Better Business Bureau business profile. Um, uh, you can you know put articles in other companies that direct back to you. You can put stuff on. MapQuest, um, see, Solano Home Mortgage, this company is basically advertising for similar keywords as I have Solano Home Mortgage, and so they could be stealing some traffic as well, right? Um, but yeah, as you can see, they're, they're all over the first page on Google search results just because they have the business listed. And again, it's not nothing complicated to do. It's, it's uh, free, uh, except that obviously it will cost you time to do it, or you can pay somebody else to do it for you. Uh, either way, you're going to pay, right? You either pay with time, money, or if you don't do anything and you're struggling, uh, you're going to be paying with losing sales because, again, you're not doing taking any actions or steps to put your business out there. How else you people are going to know? So just, again, that's, that's the, the content that I have going on. All you have to do is go to... Um, Put your business names out there to participate. Please like and share. Tag if you are watching this on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like, leave a comment, leave your business name to participate. Or you can just go to digitaltrack.co um, July, forward slash July contest. And you'll see uh, the information that you got to put in there in order to complete your entry. All right. Again, digitaltrack.co forward slash July contest if you want to participate or just simply Please like, share, and tag if you're watching this on Facebook and leave your business name. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can follow the link, the description, the link on the description, like it, share it, 
Um, you can also leave a comment if you just don't want, don't want to go here. You can leave a comment with your business name on YouTube as well. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.